in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Entrance and Tiffon O people of Zion, behold, the Lord will come to save the nations, and the Lord will make the glory of His voice heard in the joy of your heart. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, may no earthly undertaking hinder those who set out in haste to meet your Son, but may our learning of heavenly wisdom gain us admittance to his company, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Comfort, give comfort to my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her service is at an end. Her guilt is expiated. Indeed, she has received from the hand of the Lord double for all her sins. A voice cries out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the wasteland a highway for our God. Every valley shall be filled in, every mountain and hill shall be made low. The rugged land shall be made a plain, the rough country a broad valley. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Go up to a high mountain, Zion, herald of glad tidings. Cry out at the top of your voice, Jerusalem, herald of good news. Fear not to cry out and say to the cities of Judah, Here is your God. Here comes with power the Lord God who rules by his strong arm. Here is his reward with him, his recompense before him. Like a shepherd, he feeds his flock. In his arms, he gathers the lambs, carrying them in his bosom and leading the youths with care. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for he proclaims peace to his people. Near indeed is his salvation to those who fear him, glory dwelling in our land. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss, truth shall spring out of the earth, and justice shall look down from heaven. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. The Lord himself will give his benefits, our land shall yield its increase, justice shall walk before him and prepare the way of his steps. Lord, let us see your kindness and grant us your salvation. Second reading, a reading from the second letter of Saint Peter. Do not ignore this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord 
one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years like one day. The Lord does not delay His promise, as some regard delay, but He is patient with you, not wishing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a mighty roar, and the elements will be dissolved by fire, and the earth and everything done will be found out. Since everything is to be dissolved in this way, what sort of persons ought you to be, conducting yourselves in holiness and devotion, waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be dissolved in flames and the elements melted by fire. But according to His promise, we await new heavens and a new earth, in which righteousness dwells. Therefore, beloved, since you await these things, be eager to be found worthy without spot or blemish before Him at peace. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight His paths. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. The beginning of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as it is written in Isaiah the prophet, Behold, I am sending my messenger ahead of you. He will prepare your way. A voice of one crying out in the desert, Prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight his paths. John the Baptist appeared in the desert, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. People of the whole Judean countryside and all the inhabitants of Jerusalem were going out to him and were being baptized by him in the Jordan River as they acknowledged their sins. John was clothed in camel's hair with a leather belt around his face. He fed on locusts and wild honey. And this is what he proclaimed. One mightier than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop and loosen the thongs of his sandals. I have baptized you with water. He will baptize you with the Holy Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Tampok. Sa Ebanghelyo, ngayong ikalawang linggo ng Adviento, si San Juan Bautista. Siya ang itinadhana upang ihanda ang daraanan ng Mesiyas batay sa propesiya. Katulad ni Isaías, minungkahi ni Juan sa kanyang mga tagapakinig ang kahalagahan ng pagsisisi at pagbabalik loob. Ihanda ninyo ang daraanan ng Panginoon. Tuwirin ninyo ang kanyang mga landas. Anya. Naging tapat si San Juan sa kanyang misyon hanggang sa kahuli-hulihan. Tumatayo siyang modelo sa ating paghahanda sa Pasko. Giit ng simbahan. Advent is a season of preparation. A time to do whatever we can to make the Lord's path into our hearts as smooth and uncluttered as possible. Therefore, the invitation to all is to make straight the way of the Lord who comes to save us by making a thorough, thoughtful, prayerful examination of conscience since repentance makes our hearts ready to receive the Lord with joy. Kaya't 
ang hamon ni Juan, ihanda ninyo ang daraanan ng Panginoon. Pagsisihan ninyo talikdan ang inyong mga kasalanan. Makatotohan ng pagbabago, bugso ng sinserong pagsisisi kung gayon ang paanyaya sa atin ngayong mga araw ng paghahanda sa pagdatal ng Panginoon. Hindi panlabas lamang ang panawagan ni Juan sa mga tagapakinig. Kalakip nito ang babala sa mga palalo at mapagkunwari. Matapang niyang tinawag na mga ulupung ang mga pariseyo at saduseyo na kanyang hinamon. Ipakilala ninyo sa pamagitan ng inyong pamumuhay na kayo'y nagsisisi dahil lilipulin ng Diyos ang mga masasama niya. Isang superhighway para sa Panginoon ang hiling ni Juan para sa napipintong pagdating ni Jesus bilang Mesiyas. Marami ang nag-akalang si Juan Bautista na noon ang inaantabayan ng Mesiyas. Ngunit mapagpakumbabang tugon nito na isa lamang siyang boses na nananawagan sa ilang upang ihanda ang bayang daratnan ng Panginoon. Katulad noong panahon ni Juan, nais ng Panginoong Hesus muling pumasok sa ating buhay at manahan sa ating puso ngayong Kapaskuhan. Bagay na dapat nating seryosong paghandaan. Inaanyayahan tayo ng simbahan na pakinggan at tupdin ang hamon ni San Juan, ang banal na tagapanguna at tagapagbinyag upang punoan ang ating mga pagkukulang sa Diyos. Ituwid ang ating mga likulikong nakagisnan at patagin ang mga kalabisan natin sa kaugalian. Ang mga pagkakamali sa nakalipas ang nagpapabagal sa pagpasok ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. Maingat na paghahanda ang kailangan upang bumalik ang muling pananahan ng Diyos sa ating puso. Darating at darating ang Panginoong Hesus ngayong Pasko. Ihanda natin ang kanyang daraanan sa tulong ng Espiritu Santo na wa maituwid natin ang liko-liko at patagin ang baku-baku sa ating buhay. Walang dahilan upang matakot sa panawagan ng Diyos dahil ang Panginoon mismo ang nagbalak makapiling tal. Hindi pa ang gagamitin natin upang salubungin siya, kundi ang ating puso. Sapat nang buksan nito para siya'y papasukin. Huwag nawa nating sayangin ang pagkakataong muling makapiling ang Panginoong Yesus ngayong Pasko. Ang panahon ng pagbabalik loob at pagbabago ay ngayon na. Hindi dahil sa takot kaya tayo lumalapit sa Kanya kundi dahil sa pag-ibig bilang pasasalamat sa lahat ng biyayang tinanggap. Pagkatapos ng pandemya, pasalamatan natin ang poon sa kanyang kabutihan dahil hanggang ngayon buhay pa tayo. Hinihintay ng Panginoon ang ating tugon na wa simulan natin ngayong panahon ng Adviento ang tapat na pagsusuri sa ating puso at muling iugnay ang ating buhay sa Kanya, sa makatotohanang pamaraan at hindi panlabas lamang. Gamitin nawa natin ang pagkakataong ibinibigay ng langit upang ipamalas ang ating banal na hangarin, magkaroon ng malinis na kalooban at malalim na kaugnayan sa Panginoon. Sa huli, paalala ng simbahan ang malalim at personal na pakikipag-ugnayan sa Panginoon ang magbibigay sa atin ng lakas at tatag sa gitna ng mga pagsubok upang magawa nating ay pagpatuloy ang gawain na iparating sa lahat ang kabutihan at kadakilaan ng Diyos. Paniwalaan nawa natin ng lubusan na ang Diyos ay totoong suma sa atin, nakikiisa sa atin, kapiling natin sa magitan ni Kristo Jesus. Malinaw sa mga tuwid, ang panawagan sa tanan ngayong panahon ng Adviento sa ikalawang linggon ng paghahanda na magsuri 
ng ating puso at kalooban upang makita natin ng buong linaw ang ating tunay na katayuan sa harap ng Diyos. Nawa, pagtuunan natin ng pansin at panahon ang angkop na programa para sa espiritual na paghanda sa Kapaskuhan upang salubungin ang Panginoon ng may malinis na puso matapos alisin sa ating buhay ang mga balakin na kanyang daraanan. Mapangindapat nawa tayo sa misyong ituro si Jesus sa iba dulot ng tapat na pagbabalik loob at pagbabago para sa inaasam na maningning na paghahari ng Diyos sa ating buhay. Maria, tulungan mo kami magkaroon ng tunay na pagsisisi. Amen. Profession of Faith I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made for us men, and for our salvation He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake He was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, that his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful The Lord is faithful and does not delay in keeping His promise of salvation. With confidence, let us pray to the Father. Father, hear our prayer. Like John the Baptist who pointed to Christ, May the church proclaim with renewed vigor to the men and women of today that Jesus Christ is the Redeemer of humanity and the Lord of history. We pray. Father, hear our prayer for government and civil leaders. Like John the Baptist who professed his unworthiness to stoop and loosen the thongs of the Messiah's sandals, May they recognize their own sinfulness and unworthiness and experience God's gift of conversion, we pray. Father, hear our prayer. For consecrated men and women, like John the Baptist, may they prepare the way of the Lord through their acts of service to the least of our brothers and sisters, we pray. Father. Hear our prayer. For those who for a long time have stayed away from the sacrament of reconciliation, may they experience the season of Advent as a time of renewing their relationship with you, Father, and continuing Christ's mission of love and service. We pray. Father, hear our prayer. May our family members relatives, and friends who have died experience everlasting joy in the company of our Lord and Savior. We pray, Father, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the urgent concerns of our community and our personal intentions. 
Father, without you, we can do nothing for our salvation. Warm our hearts and strengthen our resolve that we may live for you and for one another. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For He assumed at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation that when He comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for the day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so, with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in the highest. Mere Santos es Domine, on somnis sanctitatis, et ergo fesimus spiritus tui rore santifica, ut nobis corpus et sanguis fian, Domini nostri Jesu Christi, qui, compassione voluntaria tradetur, acepit panem, et agens fregit, de ditque discipuli suvis dicens, acipite, et manducate, ex hoc omnes. O est enim corpus meum, quod probobis tradetur. Simili modo posquam genatum est, acipiens et calicem, itinum tibi gracias, agens fregit, deditque discipuli subis dicens, acipite et bibite, Ex eio omnes, hic est enim calic sanguinis mei, nobi et eterni testamenti, qui probobis et promultis e fundetur in remissionem peccatorum, o facite in meiam premoration. Mysterium Fidei when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, in memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread, this saving cup. We thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Pope Francis, our Holy Father, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of the resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages, 
May we praise you in union with them and give you glory through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as you wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of mercy in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world of medicine in us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon Jerusalem arise and stand upon the heights and behold the joy which comes to you from God. Let us pray. Replenished by the food of spiritual nourishment, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that through our partaking in this mystery, you may teach us to judge wisely the things of earth, and hold firm to the things of heaven, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit, and may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.